Hey guys, it's good to have you here. Today, I wanna to show you how to create a membership site inside of Webflow. Let's do it. All right, so today we're gonna to be using something called MemberStack 2.0. Now, MemberStack 2.0, we're gonna integrate with Webflow to create our membership sites. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. For some reason, when MemberStack switched from version one to version two, they didn't create any new instruction manual on how to get set up in their system. So basically, if you're trying to do this on your site, you're most likely flying blind like I was a couple hours ago. But you're in the right spot because I figured out how to get it all working, and I will show you all how to do it right now in nine simple, easy steps. Hopefully, we'll be done in about 10 minutes. So. I'm glad you're here. Let's get into step number one. All right, so quickly before we get into step number one, our goal today is to create a free subscription plan inside of Webflow that allows access to gated content if we are signed up and logged in. That's what we're building. All right, so step number one is we have to structure our websites correctly. You won't find this anywhere on the member stack website, but I think it's the most important thing. If we don't do this correctly, we are not gonna be able to build a membership site in Webflow. So let me show you how to structure your site for a free subscription plan. So what I did is I made a homepage and you can clone this, you can create this manually, however you think is easiest. I clone mine um, for my purposes. But so I have a homepage here, all right? And on my homepage, I have a login button, a sign up button, and just a link to my gated content, all right? I have a login page, all right? With just a login form and a login button. I have a sign up page that looks exactly the same. You're gonna sign up with an email and a password. And then I have a folder, and this is key guys, if you wanna create a membership site where you have to be signed up and logged in to access any type of particular content, you have to make this gated content folder. So you make a folder in Webflow by just hitting this create new folder button. I have one that is named gated content. And inside of my gated content folder, I have a page called homepage logged in, which is essentially where you go the second you sign up or are logged in. And on this page, you can access all of our courses, all of our gated courses and content, and you can log out. Now, when you log out, you go back to just our normal homepage where you can again log in or sign up. All right. And then going back to our gated content folder, I have all of our gated content, our courses, our newsletters, our articles, whatever content you're making that you want behind a paywall. All right, so for, in my instance, I have just kind of a fake page here with some content that I want gated, all right? Okay, so again, my structure is a homepage where you can log in or sign up for the membership, a login page, a sign up page, and then gated content pages, one of which is another home page where you can log out or access the course content. So that is how we have structured our website. Now let's get into step number two. All right, so the second step is we need to go sign up for member stack. I'm on the free plan here. Um, it's free until you wanna launch like paid actually subscriptions and go live on your website. Um, but you can follow along for now with your free trial. So what we need to do in step number two is we need to install our member stack script onto our Webflow page. How do we do this? Well, we'll just click this link right here and we'll make sure that we're clicked on Webflow because that's what we're integrating with. I'm gonna copy the code. Now I'm gonna go back to Webflow, go to my project settings. I'm gonna go to custom code. And I'm just gonna paste this right into my header section right there. And I'm gonna hit save changes and we'll publish later, but that's it for now. All right, that's step number two. Now, step number three is we need to create a sign up form. So let's go back into our website, back into the designer, and we will go to our sign up page. So I'll come down here to our sign up page. And what you need to do here is a couple things. Firstly, you need to drop in a form. If you're not cloning um, a form block or a component from some other site, you need to drop in a form. So command K, drop in a form. Um, you know, that's basic. So drop in your form and then we need to do three things. We need to add three different attributes to this form so that we can link and connect back to our member stack account. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to click our form container div and we need to go to settings. 
and we have to add a custom attribute here. This is the thing that's going to link back to our member stack account. So we're gonna hit plus here, and I'm going to add an attribute called data MS form with a value of sign up. All right, and we'll hit save. So that's the first attribute. Then we need to go to email, this email field right here, the input field, and we need to do the same thing. We need to come and add a custom attribute. This one is going to be called data MS member with a value of email. All right, so that's linking whatever the user types in there for their email will link to our email custom field in member stack. All right, so we're just basically aligning data fields here. Then we need to do the same thing on password. We're gonna add two attributes to our password input. So we're gonna do data MS member value of password. And we're gonna add a second one for this field, which is just data show with a value of true. To be completely honest with you, no idea what that one does. Just put it in there, it works. <laughs> All right, so again, attribute to the form container and then to each field here. You can add custom fields if you, if you want, but we're not gonna get into that in this video. Step number four is we need to do the same thing on our login form. You know, a user comes back, they're already signed up, they wanna access your gated content. They, they don't wanna sign up again. They just need to log in to their account and they're good to go. So let's come to our login page and we're gonna do the exact same thing here, the exact same thing. So put in all the same attributes this time, except for one slight difference. And it's going to be on our login form container right here. So come over to attributes, and our one difference is right here. So we're gonna do data MS form. This time our value is login, not sign up, okay? For email and password, we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did. We're going to add a custom attribute here data ms member email just like that and then same thing for our password one as our sign up form data ms member password oops and remember to add the second one again no idea what it's actually doing data show true okay our sign up forms and our login forms are now linked up to our member stack account. We're good to go. Let's move on to step number five. All right, so step number five, we're gonna come back into member stack and we need to now add our plan. Now our plan is basically how we're gonna control access to our gated content. Now for us, we're gonna go and create a new plan here. We're gonna create a free plan. Now you can do paid plans. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but it's very similar. Paid plans, if you wanna charge a monthly fee, or an annual fee, you go that route. For us, we're just gonna do a free plan. If you sign up, you give me your email, you get access to all my content. All right, so free plan. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna give it a name. So we'll just go, you know, surviving your 20s, free plan. All right, we'll create plan. We have a unique ID here. And so we've created our plan. Now, step number six is we need to create our gated content. Now we can do this right here under our plan. So we'll just come down here to gated content. I'll hit add. And I'm just gonna call this, you know, something like this, gated content. All right. Now, very key here is we need to restrict our URLs. What does this mean? Now remember, we have a gated content folder over here that we only want to give access to people who are logged in. So the way we do this is right here in our gated content restriction URL section. So what we want to do is we want to come down to our gated content folder, hit settings, and we want to grab our URL right here. All right. So whatever you've called your folder, you now want to come grab this um, so that we can restrict that URL here. All right. Now be careful, sometimes it puts a space here. Just delete that, all right? So we're restricting any URL that starts with gated content. So basically any page in this gated content folder will be restricted unless you have access to this plan we're building, all right? So add that there. Now, 
If they are denied access, we wanna send them back to a different URL. For us, we wanna send them to a sign up page. So if they try to get into our content, but they're not signed up and logged in, well, let's send them to our sign up page so they can sign up and give us their email. So for us, we're just gonna send them right to our sign up page. All right, which has a URL of just dash sign up. Just type that in here, just like that. Now we wanna grant access to people on specific plans. And what plan? Well, the free plan we just set up. All right, so we'll hit save. So now we have our gated content set up. All right, now step number seven is we wanna add our redirects. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go back here to our plan and we'll go back one more to our default settings and come to our redirects. Now, basically what this is doing is when we sign up, we wanna send you to that gated content homepage. So that way you're in your dashboard and you have access to your content. When you log in, we wanna send you to that same gated content homepage, that dashboard that lets you see your content or log out. When you log out, we wanna redirect you to our just basic homepage where you can then either log in or sign up. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So what we need to do here is we need to set our default redirects. So I'm gonna click on here and on our domain, we're just, again, we wanna, when we sign up, we wanna give access to this homepage logged in page under our gated content. So you wanna grab this whole URL here, make sure you get that gated content folder. We're gonna paste that in and just make sure that we have uh, only one forward slash there. Remember, it will add a little space there. So make sure you delete that. Look for those spaces for some reason, member stack will add those spaces and that was driving me crazy earlier. So save that there. On login again, we wanna send them to that gated content homepage. So we're gonna do the same thing, just like this. Delete this, and delete that space. And when we log out, we wanna send them just home, just to our basic homepage. So we're gonna go to our homepage and just make sure that we have that URL named correctly. And it's just right here, right? So we'll go drop that in here. Again, make sure there's no space there, which there is again. <laughs> All right, so those are our default redirects. So we'll come back here. We'll go back into our plan and you can see that our redirects are just on the default setting, so we're good to go there. That's step seven. All right, now step number eight is we need to add our logout button. We need to do this because if you're logged in and you can't log out, you could get stuck in like a little loop, a little trap, a little wormhole. So you have to have a logout button that redirects you back home. So let's go back into Webflow, and we're gonna go to our homepage logged in page. Remember, this is where you come when you're logged in to your account. You get this homepage where you have access to all of our courses. But you also have this logout button. So to create logout functionality here, it's very simple. We're gonna click the logout button. We're gonna come to settings and we're just gonna add another custom attribute. This one is just data MS action with a value of logout. We'll hit save. And that, when we click that button now, is good to go. It will just log us out. And remember, since we set up that, that redirect, it will redirect us right back to our main homepage. There's one final step, a 10th step, that we need to do to link our plan to our Webflow site. So what we need to do is come back into Member Stack. We've set up our gated content. We've set up our redirects. Now we need to come down to Installation. And it's going to give us another attribute and value that we need to attach to our signup form. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this and we're gonna come back into Webflow. We're gonna to go to sign up. We're gonna click our form container. Again, remember we've already added a sign up form attribute, but we now need to add a second one underneath this one. So we'll hit add, we'll paste in our new attribute and we'll come grab our value. This is our unique identifier, which is going to link that sign up form to our plan. So when someone signs up, they are now part of our plan and have access to our gated content and all the redirects we set up. 
This is crucial. So we'll copy this and we'll come back in here and paste our value. We'll hit save and there we go. All right, I can't really remember what step we're on, but the final thing we have to do is we have to add our domain to member stack. So we'll just come to settings and you just wanna paste in your domain right here, all right? You have to do that for some reason. I don't know why, it's one last step. All right, that was step number 11, I think. Now it's time to test. So let's come back into Webflow. Let's make sure everything is published. And now we can double check and make sure everything is working as we'd expect. All right, so we're on our homepage. We're not logged in, we're not signed up. So theoretically, if I click this course content link, which is linked to my gated content, I should get redirected to a sign up page. So let's make sure that's working. So I'll click this. All right, cool. It did not give me access to the gated content, which is good. That paywall is good to go. I guess it's not a paywall since it's a free account, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, we'll come in here to our sign up form. Uh, I'll make up a little fake email here. Can't type today. At... All right, a little fake password. Now remember, when I click this button here, we should get linked to our gated content homepage, kind of our dashboard that gives us access to our courses. So let's see if that's working. Hit submit here. I've successfully signed up. And good, I'm now at my like course dashboard. So I have access to all of our courses now or that logout button. Now let's double check and make sure that I do have access to our gated content or our newsletter page. So I'll click this and good to go. I have access to this page that I otherwise would not have if I wasn't logged in or signed up. So I'll go back. Um, these work as well. I don't have these linked to anything, so I won't show you that, but we're good to go there. I will now log out and make sure that we complete the loop. So I'll log out. That brings us back to our home page, where again, we can sign up or log back in. Um, I'm not logged in right now. So again, if I click this course content, I shouldn't have access. It should bring me right back to that sign up page, which it does, so that's good to go. I've already signed up. Let me go log back in and we'll see. Oh, there's a fake one I already made up. <laughs> George Casanza, but this is the one I just used. So boom, we'll just log right back in and it should bring us right back to that homepage just like that. And now the loop is complete. Again, we have access to our gated content like this and we can log back out and go back to our homepage. All right guys, so I guess that is the end of our tutorial. Those are the 12 steps that you need to use and that you won't find on MemberStack anywhere to set up your Webflow site with MemberStack 2.0 so that you can create membership sites inside of Webflow. If you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. I'd also appreciate that. We have big plans for the future and I'm glad you're here for the ride. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. I know that was a little technical, but Hopefully it was clear and concise and it helps you guys set up your membership sites. Again, thanks for being here, guys. I really appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys on next week's video. Peace.